Okay, I'm not sure why I didn't post that video. Maybe I deleted it, but I'm going to do it again just to be sure. So the other day I did a video because um, basically I was asked again for like the fourth or fifth time in a very short period of time um, to, re to, to re-agree to the privacy and end user license agreement for Borderlands Game of the Year edition. I've done it over and over again. And every time I do it, they treat me as if I've never played the game before. And any keys that I have or whatever are all wiped out. And I want you to look at the fine print on the back of this box. Look at the fine print. You know, we could stop all this shit. But evidently gamers don't care. So I guess I'm not going to care. I'm just going to take care of myself. This is what I've done. Because I made the mistake of buying... For that box, I bought Borderlands Game of the Year Edition from the PlayStation Store just so I didn't have to get up and swap discs all the time. Well, that was a big fucking mistake because that's why they're allowed to do that. So what I did was I bought two new copies of the game for $8 each at Amazon and I'm going to delete everything from my box. Gameplay, everything. Which is why I've spent the last couple of days building up that box back here with all of my all, uh, storage characters who all have 54 slots. So I'll be able to keep 150 of my favorite weapons and then everything will get deleted. Then I'll build three characters over here and I'll transfer that storage directly and start all over again with all of their information wiped clean from my box. It's the only way to stop these guys. They know you're not going to do that. Luckily, I have a two-system setup. And so what I showed people was how bad they ruined the game. So it was playing just fine, and it made me agree to four pages, four pages of gobbledygook that was just like, you know, uh, shit. Hundreds and hundreds of lines deep, each one of them. No, I don't read them because I'm gonna eliminate them, okay? I can play offline when I have a disc. Simple as that. Go offline, thank you, goodbye, gonna be playing Borderlands. When you buy the disc, when, if you don't own the disc, you're not gonna be able to save any data, and they tell you that. You have to go online or we're not gonna let you save your data. My Xbox does the same goddamn thing, even though I have a copy of the disc. So this is what gamers deserve. Gamers are getting exactly what you deserve, okay? Royally ass raped. That's what's, that's what's happening to you. Every time you turn on your box, okay, you're being raped viciously by the gaming industry because you let them. You know, see, you can't rape the willing. Gamers have, by and large, because they're all little teeny boppers who shouldn't be playing the games in the first place because it's 17 plus, okay? Um, you, you guys deserve every bit of carnage that they've brought upon your hobby and what they will be bringing. They are not done yet. They are not finished destroying your gaming experience. They will continue to come up with new ways to simply make the games more addicting to young kids and fuck people like me who just want to play a good game that's well designed and put together. The other day when I agreed to all their shit, when the game came back on, I lost 50% of the brightness of the game. And I showed people between the two consoles. Well, guess what? This console back here, because I'm playing it from a disc, did not ask me to do that update. And it's still nice and bright and beautiful. But I showed because I could flip. Simply by hitting my controller, I could flip from one HDMI port to another. And I showed people how, how badly they fucked that game up. And why I had to agree to everything first. Then they just basically destroyed the entire look of the fucking game. Why? I don't know. 
but I'm sure it has to do with money. No doubt in my mind it had to do with money. So I'm fixing my situation because I can, okay? But other people, they don't want to throw away years of uh, gameplay. Well, characters are easy to build. It's the weapons you found over those years that are rare, which I have. Weapons that I've only seen once or twice in 10 years of playing Borderlands, okay? So, yeah, what a shame. What a crying shame. It's a... Uh, our hobby has just been destroyed, been destroyed by the gaming industry because they really just don't give a shit about you. All it's about is getting your children addicted. And being addicted to shooting other human analogs, for me, is not healthy mentally. Which is why my grandson, I didn't mind if he played Borderlands because he wasn't shooting people. He was shooting the monsters or the, or the you know, the... the the crazed human uh, look-alikes of a human that weren't really human. Little screaming midgets and shit. But in Call of Duty, you're actually online shooting another person that looks to be another person. And for me, that's just a tiny bit too manipulative and for the human soul. Okay, so... Anyway... I'll, maybe I'll do a little video once I get this all done. I should do a recording and show you what it looks like and then or delete and erase all of their shit, put the game console into my game, transfer it to my hard drive, and then show you what the game looks like again. And it's going to be just like the comparison I showed you between these two boxes, okay? When I agreed to their shit, they destroyed my game, took all 99 of my gold keys, and fucked me over. And I imagine they did it to everyone else too.